It was a moment few figured would ever happen. A man with withered legs trying for the summit of the highest cliff on Earth. 20 climbers with good legs had died on El Capitan. Mark Wellman had just two hands, two arms to tug him to the top, six inches at a time. And I was fighting for inches as I was doing pull-ups up this thing day after day after day. 7,000 pull-ups. It was a fall from a mountain that put Wellman in a wheelchair. He was on his way down 27 years ago when he slipped on some gravel and plummeted into a crevasse. He dangled at 13,000 feet, stuck in a crack with a broken back for 30 hours. I'm feeling my, like my life is sort of slipping away from me. But the man who lost his legs in a fall from a mountain discovered he had not dropped his courage. Temperatures reflecting off El Capitan reached 120 degrees. God, it was hot today. Mark and his climbing partner, Mike Corbett, lived in this harsh, tilted world for eight days, hanging one handhold away from the abyss. Uh. NBC cameraman Craig White dangled above them the whole way. The hardest part of this climb, I think, was just swinging around like a spider on the end of a web. You holding up all right, though? Yeah, I'm holding up all right. No one had done this before. So we kind of felt like we we're almost like astronauts. I smell summit. The world pulled for the park ranger with the fractured spine to make it to the top. Yeah. Finally, after a week and a day, he had only sky left to climb. Yeah. Down below, the story outgrew their lives. How long did it take it to sink in that you've done the impossible? Probably when we were sitting in the Oval Office with President Bush <laughs> talking about bone fishing. We'd like to present this to you, Mr. President. Wellman became the Jackie Robinson of disability, showing us that life for the disabled need have no limits. Over the years, he has helped eight other climbers with broken backs make it to the top of El Capitan. It's like almost 7,000 pull-ups, right? Oh my God. Yeah. It is. A car accident put Steve Muse in a wheelchair. Doctors told him he would never leave it. It took a while for it to sink in, but when it did, man, I cried every day for four months. Until he met Mark. He was the first guy that really made me think that maybe I could do it. You're more severely injured than Mark. I can move from here up and I can't move my body around like he can. I did El so Wellman designed a special pulley that would allow Muse to lift just half his weight. If you're not tugging on this, you can just push this up with your finger. I can feel it. Mark Wellman's amazing feat showed us the possibilities rather than the disabilities in our lives. Helped Taya Rosa claim victory over chance and trouble. Getting up there. He has lifted a generation from their wheelchairs and inspired them to soar. What's it like up there? Free. No wheelchair, no nothing underneath you and just hanging there in God's country. With only sky beneath your feet. Hi! For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, with an American story in Yosemite National Park.